I know that some of you are tired of hearing about this copter, and that's why I'm putting out this video not on my normal schedule. It's a bonus video. It's not taking the place of one of my other videos so that you who are tired of this topic can get other content without having to watch this if you don't want to. But somebody asked in the comments of one of the other videos, oh, nice job tuning it. Uh, can I get your PIDs? And normally I'm not a fan of that question because no two copters are the same. Right, Little things can make a difference in the PIDs, and so copying somebody else's PIDs is oftentimes just a crapshoot. Um, different ESCs, different motors, different props, all of different, different all-up weight. All of those things can change the optimal PIDs, and so it, you might get a good tune, and you might not, and you'll have no understanding of why the copter does or doesn't fly well. But I realized this is a kit. If you build this copter, uh, if you buy it from the Quadrostereo website, the same kit, and you build it, you'll end up with more or less the exact same copter as me. You'll have a different flight controller, and you may not have the RROSD, although I would I would suggest you put one on there. I think it's a good product. Uh, but your power system is the same, and that means that you probably can copy my PIDs. And so I'm going to give you my PIDs, and we'll, they, they, they should, hopefully, work for you. Here they are. This is Betaflight 290. If you're not on Betaflight 290, don't expect that these will work the same. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. Notice that the f controller is float. The derivative method is measurement. Oh, interesting. I normally set that to error. I'm going to change that. I was flying on measurement, but I normally set it to error. Interesting. Well, I'll have to play with that. But okay, it is what it is. Uh, and here are the PIDs and the rates. You'll obviously, you'll probably want to tweak the rates for yourself, but... If you don't have any rates to start with, I don't think these are crazy high rates. I don't think these are going to really surprise too many people if you have some experience flying mini quads. So there's those, and I should also show you in the configuration, I'm running at 8K, 2K on my flight control board. I'm not sure how changing that will change the PIDs. Changing the PID loop frequency might affect the D gain. So if you want to copy my setup exactly, I would run 8K, 2K just like I am. And there you go. Now you can copy my PIDs and tell me how it flies. If you have this exact same copter, um, Quadrostereo Rush 4-inch with the uh, Spider Motors, the ZTW Spider Motors 4040 props, and these are um, XM20 ESCs. So if you have that exact same setup and you copy these PIDs, comment on the video and let me know how it works. I hope it flies good for you, and I'm very happy to be able to help you out. Happy flying. Seriously, happy flying.